everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have in front of me here the designer's choice die from tonic studios for april so last month there wasn't um i didn't do a video because there wasn't a die set available um due to the coronavirus circumstances and you know the dies weren't coming so this is um april's die set and it is such a cute little die set and it's to create a cozy cantilever box I'm going to get out of this little sleeve so you can see what you get so you get this amazing set of dies as you can see the detail in the dies really really adorable you get lots of little um, elements to this set because it is to create a cantilever box so there's also a sheet that it comes with like a guide sheet or like a how to sheet and basically you're going to create um, these tiny little boxes which you're going to cantilever on top of each other and there's two designs that are um, you can create from the die so there's this one which I'm going to attempt to do and then there's this one as well which is um, it goes out both ways so they're very very detailed and with Tonic Studios 3D dies you know all the guesswork is done for you all the measurements, cuttings, everything is just so so simple to do so with that being said, I'm going to put these this to a side so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to start cutting my bits and pieces and I'll be right back. So the first thing I've done is it says here I'm going to need four of this. So I've cut out four of the largest die which is the frame of the actual box. I'm just going to get this off here. And when you cut this, you're going to be left with these holes. So I've cut out four of these and then I have cut... The little cantilever tab so it says on my little sheet here i'm going to need four of the long ones so i've cut four and these are double-sided um it's a heavyweight paper that i've used here um and i think this is die cuts with a view so i've got four of these and then i also need eight of the smaller ones so i've cut out eight of these and this is a really good opportunity to bust out some of your brads or split pins or whatever you want to call them and you can use whatever colour tones, whatever you've got. So I've gone for some brown ones, which I've put here to the side. So I'll be using some of these. Um, so once I get to those, I'll show you how I'll be putting those together. And with the decorative elements, I've cut out <clears throat> a mat using some dark brown. And that beautiful layer on some pale cream coloured or pale mocha coloured card. And that's going to give me, hopefully, a lid when we come to the top of the box. And then there are some other elements to this die where you can cut out um, a fastener and all the little um, edges. So I've cut this. I'm not sure if I'll be using it. So I've cut it twice to give me this look. And this is going to create my little clasp to keep the box closed. So I think this is actually going to be more for this style. Um, I'm going to go for this one. So let's see how we're going to get creating. So I've cut these out. I've already put um, three of the boxes together and this is how they look. I'm really, really easy to do. You're just going to fold on the score lines and then you're going to glue the tabs together. So there's one, two, three, four tabs that you need to glue and then the corners over here. So I'm going to do that right now. So whilst gluing this down, I've just realised I've already done my three um, other boxes and this is more for the top. So it shows for the top, you just need to make a tiny little cut on two of the sides and one of the long sides. And it all explains itself on the little sheet there, so you can't really go wrong. So I've done that for this one and I'm sorry I didn't realise I'm going off the um, camera there, but... Um, that's all I'm doing, I'm just snipping the little sides off that it shows on the diagram to do so. And this is needed to be done so that once the top is on, you can actually slide it 
back on itself so it makes the whole thing stand up so you'll see towards the end what I mean and what this is all about so now what I want to do is just start getting my brads on and putting these little connectors together to create that cantilever effect So now that both sides are done I want to concentrate on the top and again like I have been doing throughout making this cozy cantilever box I'm just going to follow the diagrams. I have got some spare bits and pieces left I'm not sure why maybe um, I cut more than I actually needed but just follow the diagram and these little slithers they hardly take up any paper or card at all so you can cut lots if you want and then put them to a side and carry on using them and I think this kind of box is really really easy and fun to use with kids so if you've got kids at home at the moment and um, just cut some um, papers for them give them some glue and give them some brads and it's just a really fun way to get creative so definitely give it a go with your kids as well And now onto the final part of the decorative um, element on the top of my box. Just so pretty and on it with the little butterfly designs. Um, and you can go all out, you can add lots of flowers, embellishments and decorate to your heart's content. Um, so I'm going to leave mine as that. I think it came out really adorable and I think I'm going to cut some bright fun colours for the boys to get creating as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links below like I always do. I always put um, the Tonic Studios information on the description box so check them all out. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!